Hello my beautiful babies, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Joe Gomez and I welcome you to the fantasy of my beauty space. If you don't follow me yet, the clock is ticking. What are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel, activate the notifications bell so every single time that I will be uploading a new video, YouTube will let you know that I have done so. Please don't forget to also follow me on other social media platforms. You're gonna find me as Joe Gomez Beauty on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I'm gonna link them here so you can guys follow me and enjoy my contents. Brought to you with a lot of love and made out of a lot of love for all of you. Today we have a highly requested tutorial on how to contour your face like a freaking pro. So if you want to know how to chisel that face, sculpt it by the angels, baby, we're going to sculpt that face together and we're going to lift everything up and just reach this final beautiful ethereal result. So if you want to know how you can achieve a face that looks like this, bronzy, peachy, glowy, delicious and sculpted, please keep on watching. I know that right now this is crazy city, this is like out of party city. Do you remember that scene from RuPaul's Rat Race? Season 3, Sharon Needles, so iconic. My beautiful babies, now my foundation is already applied. Today's gonna be great because I'm gonna be showing you how do I do my contour routine. Of course, my eyes look super crazy right now, but all of my makeup is already applied and done, and I like the result on my eyes. What do you babes think? We still need to correct, adjust the final touches, lashes, inner corner, brow bone, eyebrows, setting gel you know the whole drill but we're gonna get to that right now I'm gonna go I just applied my foundation like I said this is the real techniques sponge such a good one is really squishy it has this weird texture because it feels a little bit more rubbery than the original beauty blender this is a beauty blender this one has been with me for a while let's just say it <laughs> let's just put it that way it's been used and abused but still works amazing and this one is fluffier lighter and and this one is a little bit more dense. I'm going to do a very cool video comparing all different sponges just because, yeah, I think it's gonna be super cool. I tried something new on my face today. I'm gonna let you know if it worked or not. Maybe by this color, you're already gonna be able to tell what was it, but we will see. It's time to apply concealer, okay? Since this is a contour routine, it's super important for us to apply concealer, and I'm gonna be starting with that. Today, I'm gonna be using one that I've been loving lately. This is such a good concealer, the Essence Camouflage Concealer and this is the matte it's in the shade light ivory shade 20 i'm gonna be applying it on all the dots and places where i want my highlight and all of the light to hit my face where you put lighter shades or tones on your skin and they're gonna give you volume and all of those places where you apply shadows and darkness you're gonna create shadow and darkness and depth it's really creamy i like the applicator <laughs> It also has this very pleasant smell. I'm gonna be applying here. Guess what? I picked out the wrong shade. This is light honey. No, today you want me to start. So sorry, babe. So let's rewind. Light Ivory, this is the shade 20. Such a brightening concealer. I applied a shade that is a little bit darker, but I've been loving this one, super affordable. I think it's less than five bucks. You cannot beat that. For a concealer that does increase that easily, I mean, come on. Essence for the win. I'm gonna be placing this one on top, do not mind. Don't go overboard, don't abuse your concealer because it's gonna look crazy. I usually flip it. I'm gonna be applying the same amount, one dip into the tube. I always love to apply Apply concealer here. I've shown this to you before on my glowy dewy foundation routine. If you haven't watched that, honey, what are you waiting for? That's such a good video. It was really in depth. Just like this one is gonna be. Just because I really like to give you all the tea, all of the steps, everything you need to do on your face so you can have flawless makeup application and the result is gonna be super good. I know my hair, everything looks a little bit crazy. Don't mind about that. My foundation lip is killing me. I don't like that person. One more dip for my forehead and my schnoosh. 
okay just here here and here if I would use cream contour now this would be the perfect time to apply it so that I can have all of those places where I'm gonna be applying the shadow but right now we're gonna go for powder contour and I'm gonna be featuring a palette that it's a little bit controversial to say the least it's gonna be really really fitting with the theme of this video I'm gonna grab my sponge still damp it has all of the foundation and the residues and I'm gonna start just blending my under eye area a cool tip leave your concealer for a few seconds like a few extra seconds if you want it to be a little bit more full coverage leave it on your skin and it's gonna get a little bit more dry and thicker in consistency so once you go and blend it out it's gonna look thicker and it's gonna have a little bit more coverage one of the tips that I picked when I was in makeup school. My babes, I just cannot wait to give you all of my story times and talk to you about the many things that I've gone through and how did I end up doing makeup, having a makeup YouTube channel when I do so many other things. I know that that's gonna be crazy. Let me know if that is something you'd like to see. I mean, I know that right now my channel is just brand new. It'll be super cool and super dope to know more about Joey the Hoey. <laughs> just silly today so sorry let's blend this out and hurry up because I know you're gonna think that I'm crazy of course I'm gonna be speeding up the process so you don't have to watch like four minutes I don't know I think it's fun to talk while I do my makeup I cannot wait to do get ready with me just that we can have a talk or a chat I've been getting feedback from you I always read your messages every single one of them here or on my IG if you don't follow me there what are you waiting for remember Joe Gomez Beauty the same handle as the channel almost the same handle on every social media sessions except for Twitter there I am Joe Gomez Beauty 1. I haven't tweeted that much. I know, but maybe I will. Make sure you're really blending that concealer, the crap, out of your face. I'm gonna blend the other side of my face and I'll be back in no time. Alrighty, righty. I've already blended all of my concealer. It looks smooth, it looks creamy, it looks good, but I always struggle with these underlines over here. We all have texture, lines, dilated pores. There's always something bugging us in our skin. We just have to learn how to cope with it, how to live with it, just be at peace with those things. You know, it's important to learn how to love yourself and just be a little bit more accept it's the time to set her face and i'm gonna be gently setting my face with my trusty laura mercier powder this is like my nice powder you know that one a little bit expensive so i'm just gonna be pouring a little bit of the powder here so that i can play with it grabbing my favorite brush this is from hourglass this is also my fancy brush i feel such like a youtuber with this brush you guys you have no idea how badly i wanted it and for how long i saved money to get this one it was crazy so i'm just gonna be grabbing this powder the first place that i'm gonna go is underneath my eyes super important to make sure that you can smooth out the lines under your eyes as much as possible so the application of the powder will be better just gently putting this powder over here if you haven't tried out the Laura Mercier powder it's brightening it's a little bit drying if you go overboard it might dry you up but it's such a good smoothing powder it gives you this very nice effect where it'll look almost like you have no pores it's just magical this is what you want to do with your powders especially if they're good if they're smoothing or filling or blurring that is the description you're gonna find on your powders as blurring effect or soft focus with whatever is left I love to go on the lines on my forehead I don't have too many and that is because I changed recently some of my skincare products babes and you have no idea how good they have just worked I've seen great changes on my skin I'm gonna do a video about that I'm setting my face as well lightly because I'm gonna be going for more powder but I'm gonna use a different one don't forget the creases on your nose your chin the lines around your mouth now I'm gonna grab the other side of my brush this is a dual ended brush the only thing that I hate about this kind of brushes is that when you want to store them and actually place them on top of your vanity it's super super difficult to just leave them standing because it's 
impossible you have to lay them flat this maybe it's because it's my trusty love with brush and I love it but it's it's really good it's good I do sing by the way but I sing <laughs> I'm always singing I always sing the songs from the commercials from the TV ads does any one of you do the same so I just set my face everything is flat and white it looks like that because of the lights but in real life it doesn't look as pale right now we're gonna start the magic of the contour I'm gonna be going with this beautiful palette over here this is the shade and light contour palette palette de contour du visage by KVD vegan beauty I bought this one before the rebranding the first one the second one I don't even know this is the way it looks you can tell that I love this one especially this shade that is called subconscious for my nose contour super super light but at the same time it's not gray it has a little bit of warmth but you can see how beautiful this one is mine has the unspeakable name right here it says gonna be using mostly all of the shades I'm gonna go from the deepest one to the lightest one to create a lot of dimension when I'm gonna go and apply my contour I always love to use this brush I've talked about this one on my stories on IG follow me there Joe Gomez Beauty shameless promo hi this is the heavenly Lux angle radiance number 10 this is by it cosmetics such a really good brush slanted and it's pointy and it's really really dense so I really like this one it's a little bit dirty because I've been using this one during this week but I promise you my beautiful babies that I do wash my brushes my sponges and everything otherwise I would be full of acne and no one would like that go with a little bit of the first two shades too or about this area and also here underneath my lower lip I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of this one this one is powdery be careful with that one okay because it has a lot of big this is super pigmented crazy pigmented this is probably one of the most pigmented contour palettes I've ever come across with always like to tap off the excess on the same palette because I love to save money on products that's a really cool tip always tap off the excess on the same palette you will already have a lot of loose powder on the palette then you can dip in your brush and just grab a little bit of it and you won't be wasting a crazy amount of product so I'm gonna start contouring right now this side of my face a lot of people do like to go underneath their bone but this is the Mahler bone I think you need to go a little bit well sort of like in between here it is where my bone is so I'm just gonna go there do not drag your contour beyond your eye. Where your eye finishes, that outer corner, you wanna stop there. You can of course concentrate it as much as you want. I've already applied on the other side of my face. Now it's time to go for the chin. I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit more product. I already have that loose powder on my palette and I'm gonna be going here on the edge of my jawline, just here. What I do is that I just sweep the product and just drag it but one tip that i can give you especially if you're working with this palette or with a palette that punches a lot of pigment is actually my babes be careful and do not press the pigment in otherwise when you go back with your blending brush and i'm going to show you that's going to be the next step it's going to be super hard to blend i like to go here with the same powder, I'm not grabbing any more product. This one really packs up a lot of pigment. I do love my jawline, as you can see it. I really have a lot of definition. It's one of the areas that I do like on my face. If you want to, you can always bring it up a little bit more so you can start narrowing your face and making it look a little bit smaller. But mainly, I'm using this shade over here this is shadow play and this is the one in the middle this one is not as pigmented it's a little bit more neutral you can go with this one just with the tip of the brush like this i love doing this to create that very nice shadow underneath my lower lip the shadow is already there sometimes if i'm being super super extra i love to grab it like this and then just carve a little bit more a roundish shadow so that i can give the appearance of more prominent cheekbones the same you can do with cream contour or cream products i'm planning on doing a full tutorial on contour cream as soon as i have the one that i'm planning to buy this is the easiest way and i've noticed that a lot 
lot of people have powders first in creams because they're a little bit easier to work now I'm gonna go with a combination of the first two you know the deepest and the one in the middle barely touching the pen on the darkest one because this one is super pigmented and a lot of people actually do not use that shadow or that shade somber I find it really really deep and really really nice to work on the face so why not if it's in the palette come on use it just play with it see how it works for you do not go overboard and you will see very nice results in terms of application tapping up the excess on the same palette this is saving me a lot of bucks and I'm gonna go on my forehead on my forehead and I just love to draw two lines one here because this is the more prominent area when I was in makeup school the teacher told us and I still remember that up to this day where she says that the perfect shape of the human face is creating an oval face so that is always what you want to be doing to create that very nice oval shape face so that's why I'm only putting it here I don't like to go that close to my hairline because I'm going to be blending that away. Do not present your product or it's going to be super hard to blend thin. In this area, I don't have a lot to work with. It already looks super round, lifted, and of contouring. This is the secret to a very chiseled, produced makeup. You're going to look flawless. Now it's time for the nose. For the nose, I do use this brush, but I think that this is going to be a little bit more tricky for a lot of people, especially if you don't have the experience to work with this larger brushes on your faces and on your noses. And usually for my ladies, they tend to have a little bit more petite noses. Girls' noses tend to be thinner and smaller in comparison to a man's face. That's why I'm gonna go with this brush, the concealer brush by Sephora. A very cool trick that I can give you. Use your brushes for the purpose that you find them helpful for. Okay, do not focus too much if it's this is only for blending your eyeshadow. No, it can be for anything. A lot of people do their contour, their nose contour with eyeshadow brushes just like this one. Very nice and fluffy. You you can do your brushes as you desire. I've already grabbed some pigment with this one and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna drag a line just because I really want my nose to look super super straight. Blending that product. I told you last time I have a bump on my nose that makes it a little bit tricky to work with. One day I'll be happy to have this conversation because it involves medical malpractice and yeah, it's a little bit hard for me to talk about just because it's really personal. I went through a lot of pain, but I do want to talk about it, especially to prevent other people from suffering what I just went through with cosmetic surgery so that I can, you know, raise some awareness about the cosmetic surgery topic, unveil the secrecy that surrounds cosmetic surgery because there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm only going in this line. I'm going to grab a little bit more product on this side of my nose because here's where I have the bump. And I always love to go this way, almost like outwards, you know, up to the tip of my nose that keeps me that very nice lifted effect you know I've managed ways to learn how to live with this still super painful you see a lot of these people doing beauty videos and beauty bloggers where they are just perfect and you are just not you want to fit in and sometimes you feel that that's an obstacle that's stopping you from achieving greater better things or more opportunities but then when you start realizing that you have to love yourself just for the person you are and the way you already look everything feels a little bit more different and you just feel a little bit more comfortable in your own skin so yeah I'm gonna go on the other side of my nose same brush right now you will see my hand getting in the way so sorry I'm just narrowing the product and you can already see how it looks a little bit more contoured I'm just going super soft on my nose just because the nose is the center of your face so of course you want it to have a very nice defined nose so that everything looks a little bit more symmetrical as much as possible I do like to grab whatever is left on my brush from the shadow up to my brow bone so that I can marry that contour with my eyeshadows it already creates that very nice sort of like line look gonna go with something risky the deepest shade on my palette is gonna be this one just a tiny bit and I'm gonna go on my nostrils this is gonna give you that very nice pinched effect people also like to draw a line over here and then they can contour that gives you that very 
very nice pointy sort of like childish nose but I don't like that effect for my nose but I'm gonna be contouring my nostrils and the tip just like this I'm already applying a darker shade this is looking a little bit crazy but just trust the process in makeup everything has to do with that my babes I do love the tip of my nose it's lifted and it's a little bit pointy that's the only place on my nose where the surgeon did a good job go with your blending brush and I'm gonna give you options I know that this palette by now here in Mexico this one is completely sold out a lot of people do not like this one I just find it super super good it's a little bit hard to get here in Mexico I've seen on other people's videos that this one is on sale and you can find it on TJ Maxx Ross crazy here in Mexico makeup is super expensive and super exclusive sometimes it's really really hard to reach or to get your hands on I can give you cheaper options I always like to do that for my beautiful babies beginner someone who's just starting on makeup and wants to do something or wants to invest in something that's going to be good quality but they cannot afford to go with high-end makeup you can save a little bit of money if you don't want to or just you can spend a lot of money on a makeup product that doesn't mean that you're going to be left out or you're not cool enough whatever there's this mexican brand i love this contour palette and this is bisou i am almost 100 percent sure that this is being sold in the states that's the packaging and these are the shades very very similar to the kbd one this is the color scheme it's really really similar really similar i wanted to have a very seamless application so that's why i decided to go for the one that i know better recently i got this one and i'm planning to use this one i've never even touched it i'm saving it for a full face using only bisou products this glitter this green glitter so beautiful this one over here is from bisou this is the number 11 what you're gonna do now is to go with your blending brush. I'm gonna give you options. The Morphe X Jacqueline Heel JH02. This is a dupe for the Marc Jacobs one. Big, fluffy, large and in charge. Love the white handle, the ferrule, really sturdy. It sheds a little bit, but it's just not crazy. The other one, even better quality, but I just would have wanted the handle would be a little bit larger very thick this is almost like a kabuki brush the heavenly luxe airbrush powder and bronzer number one from it cosmetics such good brushes like if you ask me about good quality high-end brushes i would say it cosmetics for the win i have a bunch of them i invested a little bit of money this one is fresh i just cleaned it and i'm gonna be working with this one just this one is really really dense and really really big we're gonna be able to blend these powders away and create a beautiful result minus my nose for that I need something a little bit more precise I could technically be working with the same brush that I applied contour with let's start the blending process I'm gonna start the product up never blend downwards because you will have a bloody mess okay always up what I do love about this brush is that it has a dome. You can see this dome shape. So this one really helps me to reach all of the corners and the crevices on my face. Super easy to really blend this. You can see that I've already blended this product upwards and away. And what I like to do is I grab whatever is left on the brush and then I just start lifting my cheekbones. Just very, very soft, very gently. And this is gonna give me that very chiseled effect. I'm gonna be doing the same with my jaw. See the pressure that I'm grabbing my brush with. I'm not holding it with a lot of pressure. I'm just rubbing the bristles against my face. Blend, blend, blend. And this is the secret to a good powder contour, the blending process. This is where you do have to spend a little bit of extra time. Do not go like this. Do not drag the product. Don't be too harsh. Melt all of those powders. I'm only blending half of my face i want you to see the difference now it's time to go with the forehead and i'm gonna be dragging the product up never down you want to melt this powder with your natural hairline so it diffuses just by doing this you will have a very nice almost bronzy look and i love that for my forehead the contour did this and also the light it everything is pulled up and in this side of my face you can see all of the lines it might be a long video grab a snack Grab a glass of wine, your dinner, whatever you want to grab just so that you can watch this one. But trust me, it's going to be worth it. I'm going to be blending only one side of my lip. The only thing left that I need to blend is my nose. Grabbing the same brush, flaking it, 
all the way on the sides of my nose to blend even more and diffusing more my contour. It's time to blend my nostril and for that I love to also pull or push the product out of my nose. Do you want to have that very nice rounded shadow underneath the tip of my nose? I'm gonna blend the other side just so you can maybe see how beautiful the tip looks. When I blend it, once you blend it, it looks super, super good. I mean, the tip is always good. Look at this. Contour is already blended and I'm just sold. What about that? You see the difference. It makes super blended, but it looks glowy. My skin doesn't look dead or dry just because I didn't go overboard with the powder, but I am gonna be applying a little bit more brightening powder just on this area so that I can have an even more lifted. I am back with a blended base. The blending is everything for your contour. It looks super. My cheekbones look like apples. I'm loving everything the blending. Everything looks just good and seamless. No harsh lines, which is gonna be the most important thing on your makeup routine just in everything you do on your eyeshadows on every powder that you apply on your face you're gonna try to melt it and to make it look super smooth you have no idea how many compliments I get on my complexion every single time that I do it on myself or on other people that very skin like effect that I love to give it to the skin without looking cakey and just a little bit more natural you can see my beauty marks I cannot wait to try even more full coverage foundation just because I do I forgot one step let's go back let's rewind everything okay now before I add my bronzer I'm gonna go and clean all of those areas where I want to have a little bit more brightness with the powder that I just had left on the cap I'm gonna do this sorry if I'm looking aside but I need to see to the monitor of my camera what the hell am I doing just cleaning with a straight line we're gonna be sweeping that away so it doesn't look harsh we're gonna get rid of that powder so don't worry and then I just love to start by this line here where my bone is I'm gonna go all the way Add a little bit more if you want to have a really really bright effect but this is gonna make your face to look even more chiseled your cheekbones now I'm gonna be cleaning the sides of my nose I'm gonna go on the other side of my nose my babies I really love to have this line very very straight tapping on the cap and then the rest I'm gonna be putting it along that line that I just created so that I can have a more defined nose tap it in but don't press it honey this is gonna give you the contour of your dreams we're gonna go back to the shade and light contour palette. I'm gonna be grabbing this shade a little bit of the first two. This is Levitation and Lyric with this brush by Jacqueline Hill. This is the JH07. This is sort of like a bullet brush. This is by Morphe. So lightly tapping on those two powders. Like doot, doot, and then tap up the excess and I'm only gonna be applying underneath my eyes where I want to have an even more brightening effect. That's gonna give you more light underneath your eyes. Don't go to ham with this powder, otherwise you're gonna look cakey. We're gonna be dusting away this powder once we get rid of all of the bake we have. I like to grab whatever is left on the tip of my brush and just go on the areas where usually I am a little bit more oily. Forehead, chin, it's time to bronze. And I'm gonna go with my trusty Hula bronzer. This is my favorite. Right now, I cannot give you any drugstore option, but I'm gonna give you very soon because I'm gonna be trying out some new bronzers from Oriflame Cosmetics and I'm so excited about them. I'm gonna be grabbing my JH. By now, I should be knowing the name, JH02. Dipping my brush like dip, 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 dip. Already packed on my brush and I'm gonna go here, okay? Oh, I'm not gonna go crazy with the bronzer just because I already have underneath that contour and I'm also blending the line that I created you can see that halo that gradient of color of warm just going on um, my mouth all the way to my temple I'm gonna be dusting and applying this one on my forehead always love to go a little bit more ham on my forehead 
just because I do have a larger one but I love to concentrate not the contour the contour I applied it only on my hairline but the bronzer I love to go on the sides of my skull have you ever thought that you have a skull like you have organs and you have skulls and you have eye sockets and I know we have eyes we have mouth but eyes, wait. my skull sounds weird right sounds like corpsey <laughs> Do this on your chin, just everywhere. You need to bronze. I'm gonna go and do that the other side and I'm gonna show you some of my final tips for contour. Now it's time to bronze a little bit, just the tiniest bit your nose. And I'm gonna be working with whatever is left on my brush. I don't wanna pack it again. I'm only gonna flick the powder away with the same bronzer all the way to the side over here. I'm gonna give you one last tip for the nose. You're gonna be going back again with your powder. I know that this may seem like a lot of steps but baby you want to have good makeup you have to follow the steps it takes time good makeup takes time go on the center of your nose leave that just for a second while we apply blush I'm gonna be dusting away this under eye powder that I just applied with this brush this is from the remix collection in Jaclyn Hill X Morphe super flimsy and beautiful this is the jh14 and get rid of any extra powder that i may have over there i just wanted to have that very nice bright under eye effect and i like this brush because it's really flimsy the bristles are super long so you can really any taper my voice is getting raspy that's one of the things you need to know about me if i talk too much my voice gets super raspy and sexier just dusting away all of that extra powder it looks really bright just like I like it this is totally personal preference you don't have to do this but now it's time to give a little bit of extra dimension and color to my face by applying and today I'm gonna go for something peachy and delicious and springy this color screams spring all over this is the peach or durazno in Spanish from Bisu I hope the camera can pick it up because it's gonna look a little bit lighter than what it actually is and I'm gonna go with my favorite blush brush and this one is from it cosmetic this one I already know the name by heart French boutique blush number four beautiful brush you need to have this one in your kit if you're a makeup artist or if you love to do makeup on yourself this one can even blend cream products in such a beautiful way it's flimsy the bristles are super 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 nicely packed and I love this cute little detail that you can see the eat through this is clean props to my mom my beautiful babies she's the one who cleans my brushes sometimes on the weekends and I just mom I love you what would I do without my mom dip two times tap up the excess and go on my cheeks I think this color is gonna be a little bright when you want to apply your blush you have to marry the contour with blush go like this very lightly Wow such a beautiful color and the pigmentation I'm gonna go for a little bit more I need this I mean come on are you kidding me hello it's for the win and this was like less than three bucks What's made in Mexico is well made. Let me tell you that. I was made in Mexico. Look at me, honey. I was well made. Amazing brand, super affordable, good quality, good ingredients. And actually, I do want to promote them on my channel. And I do want to shout out to them because I do love American brands, European brands, French brands, from whatever. I'm willing to try anything. But I do want to show love to my country you know and everything that is produced here just because i'm super proud to be mexican the reason why i wanted to have a channel that was in english is because i wanted to be able to reach bigger and broader audiences i wanted to reach people from india and japan and mexico and latin america and everyone who speaks english because in mexico a lot of people do speak english and very good english some people still have a little bit of misconceptions when it comes to mexican people i know that it's only a minority or so I'd like to think but this is my personal opinion mine I love my country I'm super proud to be Mexican and the fact that my channel is in English it doesn't mean that I'm never gonna have content in Spanish because tutoriales en español ya vienen pronto coming soon babe of course we're gonna have them as well and I want to hear your feedback we're coming to an end my beautiful babies i know that this is a long one i hope you have had lunch or breakfast or dinner or a nice glass of wine or a hot cup of tea or a coffee or something delicious to cheer yourself up and warm yourself up in a nice tight warm hot that i'm giving you right now
love you now it's time to get rid of this powder that i applied this is gonna give me that oomph you know that extra oomph that i needed to highlight my nose that i can trick the eye into having a more straight nose now i'm gonna drench my face in setting spray and i'm gonna use this one speaking about mexican brands this one from Evly. this is the green tea makeup fix it's really really hydrating and I just love it when I applied a little bit of extra powder because this one melts everything away grabbing my mirror and now it's the time to go for highlighter to seal the deal and I'm gonna be going with this one you know that currently that's just my favorite I don't have that many highlighters I just have this one the Anastasia X Nicole Guerrero and that palette is just a dream and this one is a little bit more beltable and that's the reason why I like I'm gonna grab my favorite highlighter brush this is from KVD number four I've shown it to you before swirling my brush into the pan not tapping the excess because I want to get all of the highlighter on my face I'm gonna go on the sides on my face just like this once you start going with your brush you're gonna be brushing all of those pigments from the highlighter and it's gonna be showing a little bit more intensely grab whatever is left and apply it on my chin I also love to apply whatever is left on my upper lip I'm gonna go on the sides of my face just like that until I reach the edge of my forehead on both sides I love to go on the bridge of my nose Again, my beautiful babes, my camera just died in the least expected moment. I just took advantage of the time and I finished my hair, my eye makeup, my lashes. Feeling the fantasy, I wanted to show you that the final touch for your contouring and tired contouring process is going to be a little bit of highlighter on the tip of your nose. And I always like to apply it, drag it up just so that we can lift the entire face up. Remember, everything has to be pulled up, beautiful, and just ethereal like the goddesses we already are and this is the final look my beautiful babies i have a huge ponytail i mean you see it the flowy hair you know like really messy whenever you have the chance to play with color with makeup with powders with contouring whenever you get the chance to play with makeup and just feeling your full fantasy and just feeling good about yourself do your makeup grab your brushes enjoy the ride that's what life is for and these are the moments that are gonna be stuck in your heart forever and you're gonna carry away so just have fun and enjoy it and live it to the fullest i want to thank you so so much for watching this entire tutorial i know that this was a little bit beefy a little bit meaty a little bit long but it's definitely worth it i'm sure you grabbed a lot of tips to contour your face like a pro and look super snatched i mean look at the face what do you think about this makeup my beautiful babes hope you have learned a lot from if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel activate the notifications bell so every single time that i will be uploading a new video youtube will let you know about my uploads also follow me on my other social media platforms you're gonna find me almost everywhere as joe gomez beauty can wait to see you very very soon bye i think that's a wrap you have no idea how much did i struggle with this video it was it was a thing but we're done and i'm so happy I can finally go and have lunch. I'm so excited. I'm so starving. This is my bone. This is my bone. Feed me. My thing. I've had this one. I've had this. I have this one. I've had. Here it is where my bone. Here it is where. Here. Here it is where my. Do not press in the throat. <laughs> A bit of a transition. There's a truck. It's raining, you guys. That's a bit good. I look crazy. Perfect time for the thumbnail. So iconic.